Hey, this is Mike with Make, and I am with Massimo Bonzi here at uh, MakerCon in New York. Massimo just got off stage. He's talking about a few really interesting developments, but the one that I think is really cool is this uh, this this open apartment project <laughs> that you're working on. Uh, give us a run through of what what's involved with this. Well, first of all, um, we so we're friends with Bruce Sterling, who now lives in Torino, which is where we have one of the offices. So we had a number of conversations about the future of these connected devices and Internet of Things. And so we, we realized that it would be interesting to have a space where you can actually test and see what happens when you live with that kind of technology every day. And because, again, a lot of these things are designed kind of top down and, and we need a place where people can actually live with that. So we... You know, our office is in a kind of an abandoned car factory, uh, previously abandoned, and so <laughs> now it's, it's not abandoned. Uh, so we're going to take a piece of that <clears throat> office and turn it into an apartment, which will have uh, open source design. So the furniture that you see there will be open source and made on the spot because the office also contains an, a fab lab. And also it's going to be open source hardware and software for the technology side. And the idea is that you will be able to rent uh, the apartment on Airbnb. So if you want to experience what it means to live in that kind of environment, you can take part in this experiment by just coming over and living there for a few days. One of the things that you said on stage that I thought was really great was how um, these homes of the future that you have seen you know, in every exposition, everywhere, they're, they're always fake homes. And uh, you guys wanted to do something that's real. So th this is your, your response to that. Um, so you guys, I, I know you said there's the open desk project for a lot of the furniture. Mm -hmm. uh, on the other, on the hardware side, are any other examples of uh, things that will be inside of this open apartment? Well, I mean, Arduino has a number of technologies that have enabled people to do connected devices for a long time. I mean, some of the early connected projects with Arduino date back to 2005. So like the tweeting plant uh, botanicals is probably from 2005. So, you know, we're looking at 10 years of people building connected devices with Arduino. And so it's going to be mostly Arduino based. And also we've asked people to, you know, participate, you know, other companies that maybe have devices or have technologies or silicon vendors. So we said somebody wants to sponsor the project and help out. We're happy as long as everything is based on open protocols an open source implementation of this protocol so that everything can interoperate, not through these boxes that people have to buy now, no? so that your lamp can talk to your alarm clock, you need to buy a box that kind of translates everything, but really by having these open protocols that let all the devices talk to each other. It's an experiment. Yeah. So when does the uh, when does the apartment launch? When can people actually start renting this? So we're going to be properly launching it with Bruce at Maker Faire in Rome, so in a couple of weeks. Then after that, um, we're, we're actually refurbishing the apartment right now. And uh, so I guess later on in the year, we'll have a proper kind of opening where people can start renting the space if they want to and then we'll have a blog where Bruce is going to be writing some comments about what's going on there Arduino is going to be publishing tutorials about the different things they build for the apartment and so you know it's going to be something that generates ideas and content in a way constantly for maybe two years. It sounds really interesting. It actually sounds like a lot of fun, too. I'm, I hope that I get to check it out at some point. Uh, so you also mentioned um, a little bit about uh, an Arduino cloud, an open cloud project. How much of that can you share with everybody? So, well, we, again, in the presentation I shown that Arduino has been working on this stuff for a long time. We simply never really had, like, a framework that kind of looks at this whole thing as, as a as a set of tools that allow you to build this kind of devices. There's lots of products that you find also on Kickstarter, for example, that start off as an Arduino project. So we're trying to organize all of that technology that we share with the community and provide this kind of open protocols that allow you to build your own cloud platform. So we're also working with partners and in the next few weeks, we'll probably have more announcement about this, but we're working with people saying, great, if you, wanna, if you want us to use your service, uh, then you need to provide an open source implementation of your service because you know, we want to encourage people to use commercial services if they need to and want to, but we also want to give people the options to use an open source versions of that so they don't feel completely trapped inside that platform. So this is kind of the philosophy we're trying to do. We're trying to gather people, not in formal consortia, but 
and you know something that's kind of bottom up and based on sharing code and ideas. I, well, I think it's great. You know, one of the things that we were talking about as we as we were getting set up here is just the importance of um, staying true to some of the ethos that this maker movement has been founded on. And I, I applaud you for being a great spokesperson and a, you know, an ambassador for a lot of the stuff as this maker movement grows because it really has been uh, considerably. Uh, what what. Uh, Beyond the, the, the cloud and the apartment, anything that you're looking forward to coming up in the future? Well, for us, this is a big task, you know, trying to really provide uh, a full-blown platform that's as easy to use as the classic Arduino. So that requires <laughs> a lot of work and it's going to take us several uh, several months and maybe years. You know, and also at the previous MakerCon, we discussed about some of our development tools are going on the cloud. So there's this HTML5 IDE that's going to run on the Arduino Tre. It's going to run as a desktop application and also as an online tool. So we're really trying to build a platform where people who are on the Arduino website, they get all these tools they can use and without even installing too much so we're trying to kind of follow in a way the, that uh, people want more and more of their services to be available through a browser i think it's you know for certain scenario is a great direction and that's what we're trying to pursue that's great very exciting so i'll see you in rome uh in a couple of weeks you want to tell everyone uh, about uh, when and where it is and how to get there <laughs> how to get there <laughs> You know, get a plane <laughs> for most of the people. Now, the um, so between the third and the fifth of October, if I'm not mistaken. Right. So it's between the Thursday and the Sunday because we have a conference on Thursday, which is kind of like a MakerCon, but not called MakerCon. It's more for the general population. Uh, we have a fr uh, Friday is the Education Day, so we have a lot of. Um, you know, presenters talking about educations and makers. And then we have Maker Fair Saturday and Sunday. And actually Wednesday, we have the Open Source Hardware Summit yes. showing up in Europe for the first time. So I think this also is important. The whole week in Rome is called the Innovation Week. There's a bunch of stuff going on, people doing, con you know, it, it, um, uh, you know, wearable technology, fashion stuff opening all happening all over the city. So. Yeah. It's going to well, be exciting. Yeah, last year was a big success, and this year it looks like it's even bigger. Uh, I can't wait to see it. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, appreciate your time, and uh, I'll see you in a couple weeks in Rome. See you in yeah. Rome. Thank you, Massimo. Thank you. Good stuff.